Turn on everyone, Tommy from Pizarro's PCs. It's Sunday, so you know what that means. It's boot sale day. back everyone so it is 11 a.m. on Sunday morning I have been up since quarter past five I got to my first boot sale this morning at 6 a.m. and they say uh, the early bird catches the worm and all that well let's be fair I don't think it was ever gonna be as big and as good as last week's haul but I did manage to get quite a few bits so I went to two boot sales this morning First one I went to is was in um, Ro Rootham Heath in Kent, and it's the first one that I've been to there this season. So I got there at 6 a.m. First thing I found was this Lord of the Rings. Um, I think it's like a video. Yeah, wireless sword plays on your TV. Turn, into, turn your TV into an epic battlefield made by Tiger Games, obviously the guys who used to make all the handheld games in the day. Um, it hasn't been opened. You know? The box is a little bit, you know, it's not the best shape in the world, but three quid. So, yeah, I don't own Lord of the Rings. I know there's a, a market out there for it. So, that was the first thing I found. Second thing I found there, Jurassic Park. The Jurassic Park Jeep. Now, obviously, missing the front section in here, missing the back door. But this was 50p, so I just thought, even if someone wanted some, wanted it as spares or to do a repair job on it or something, 50p ain't the end of the world. So yeah, I grabbed that. That was uh, the second item I got. Um, I'm trying to do it in order, like I normally do. Third items, items I got off the same person. Got a nice Liam Neeson. <laughs> Star Wars though here. That was a quid. I'm guessing he used to come with a probably with a lightsaber, but he hasn't got it. But one pound and the same person was selling this retro mini TV games. Plugs directly into your TV. It's got two it features two hundred eight bit games. And it's got like a little control pad on it. Um it's got a bit wet from it, you know what? I might need to want to test that, but I paid a pound for that, so I paid two quid for both of these. So not bad, not bad. So far, so good. And that was really early. That was a crack of dawn. Then I bought. This is still at the first boot sale. This GoBots Battle of the Rock Lords on VHS in really, really good condition as it goes. Great vintage 80s front cover. Look at that. 50p. Not bad. And I still own a VHS player, so it's all good, good, good. We got Stewie from Family Guy. He's still got the tag, as you can see. Quite a big one, a little bit dirty, needs a bit of a clean. And then a Ghostbusters, the logo. Again, with tag. Uh, that's really clean that is from the same guy I paid four quid for the pair so like I said I don't normally do I don't really get plush toys unless they've got tags on them or unless it's a plush toy that I want so them two I'll put used two there for the minute um, the next thing I got at that boot sale was this this is a 1994 is it yeah 1994 um, Power Rangers so it's the old Power Rangers this is the bubble bath and that's the Black Ranger now there's bubble bath in it, but it needs a little bit of a clean. I paid a pound for that. Not bad. Still going well, still going well. Like I said, it was never going to beat last week, but you know, it was it was still uh, a decent day. Then I found this. Some of you might recognise this. This is the uh, Wuzzles. They were from 1984. Yeah, Hasbro and Disney, these are made. This, is 50, this was 50p, I think. He's got a bit of thingy on his nose, but yeah, I know people. I know that there's a market for that, especially like female collectors. 
out, so that was 50p. Then I got something I don't usually get, to be honest with you, but they were pretty cheap, and I've picked up some of these in the past. So I've got some vinyls, um, and they all look in really, really good condition. Uh, in fact, I, I think some of them might not even have been, been played. So I paid, I got four here, a uh, five here, and I paid four pound for five. So I've got Walt Disney's uh, Christmas favourites, and that's got yeah jingle bells by mickey mouse <laughs> there's loads on there. there's a few on there then i've got original tv soundtracks the flintstones produced by joseph barbaria and william hannah it's got two quid written on there but i didn't pay two quid for it again i don't think some of these look like they've just not even been they've not even been played but there you go they've got that proper vintagey old smell like they've been in the loft for a million years that was two then I've got um, Mary Poppins, and then this one has got the uh, got like the book in it, the storybook. You can see that very well. I picked these up before in um, in a couple of different other brands. They're quite popular. There's a market for them. Uh, this is really these are really old as well. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, Mary Poppins, and then Winnie the Pooh and and Tigger Two. Again, this is a storybook type one comes with a vinyl and then you can read along to it and then the last one I've got was Sleeping Beauty so they're all the Disneyland uh, record types all like I think they're all like made in the 60s and that isn't it? again the storybook oh what's that oh there you go and then uh, the original postcard that was sent with it <laughs> well yeah happy days so yeah I paid four pound for all five of them so I'm pleased with them, and I'm sure I'll be able to find a buyer for them, whether through Pizarro's pieces or on Instagram. Right, the last item I got at this particular boot sale were these. Now, this guy had quite a few of these, and I was interested in buying a lot, but he just wanted a bit too much money. So these are the these are um, vintage um, Duplo play sets. So I've got. One here which looks unopened. Obviously Duplo, it's made by Lego. And these ones are from, like, I think they're from the 90s maybe? Yeah, 1989 that one is. So we've got that one. We've got the animal one, which looks like it has been opened and I haven't checked it. And then I've got one here which is like a fire truck with one of the guys. Now, the guy had about, um, probably about 12 or so play sets. I asked him how much he wanted, he was like, I want £100. He had, a, he had a list with him with how much he'd seen them go on eBay for. I didn't want to pay £100. It would have been the bulk of my money that I had with me. And I was going to another boot sale immediately after. So I said, look, I'll take a few off you. So I, I selected a few that looked like they hadn't been open. I've looked since on eBay and these go for like 20, 25 quid. So I'm quite pleased with that. I paid 20 for all three. Uh, vintage Duplo play sets. Not bad, not bad at all. So, yep, I moved on. Got it all around me now. I moved on to the next boot sale. That was the one that I went to last week where I found all the Thundercats and the wrestlers and the turtles and that. And I see the usual um, lizards there. I'm gonna call them lizards because that's what my man at Tootie Booty calls them. It's funny, I find it funny. Uh, the, the scalpers, the same old dealers. Um, I see a couple of them. I see one of the gaming ones had a couple of uh, Dreamcast bits, and and obviously I'm not interested in gaming, so I just sort of look for the toys and that. And I see they were scouring around and that, so I thought, well, let me just walk around and see what I can find. Anyway, first of all, there was a guy who was selling loads of DVDs. He must have had about 500 of them, pound each. So I've got this Godzilla now. This is the 98 Godzilla. Obviously, I'm not a big fan of the film itself, but it was um it's in an unusual case and I've not seen it before. So it's like a solid plastic DVD case. And I just thought, oh, it was pretty cool. And it was a pound. Like I said, I ain't a fan of that film, but Godzilla's Godzilla. And then I've got Blade Runner. This hasn't even been opened, and I paid a pound for that. Blade Runner Director's Cut. Now, believe it or not. As much as a massive 80s fan I am, and I have seen so many films, I haven't seen Blade Runner. I have not seen it. 
you know, you're probably thinking out there, Jesus Christ, you've seen everything else. So I thought for a pound and it was sealed, this would be good for one of them nights where there's nothing on TV and it would give me something to watch. So I picked them two up, picked a couple of other odds and sods up. I picked up a Teenage Turtle, big Teenage Turtle. Uh, Leonardo's got no weapons, pound. That'll go in my stock box. And then I picked up an Iron Man. I think he makes noise, this one. Yeah, he does. Um, from the same person. Let's turn you off. Pound. So, two pound for them to, again, just stock for the stock box. I then picked up this guy. Uh, I think he, yeah, he's from um, Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe, Narnia. The humans, but I didn't like the humans. This guy looked pretty cool. Um, he was two pound and he's got his weapon with him. I've, well, at least I believe that's his weapon. It, who knows with some people, but it looks like it. Um, yeah, two quid. He's way some than this geezer does. Um, Gorilla, Alien from the Kenner series. Pound, I paid for that. It's always good to see aliens. I see the I picked the ball one up last week, didn't I? So a lot of these kind of toys I just put in like my three pound bin. Um, and my three pound bin's pretty good. I've got aliens, Thundercats, He Man, Ghostbusters in there. So that's pretty cool. And I picked this guy up. Nah, 10p I paid for this. He's got his little tag still on him. This is, I believe, a knockoff. Well, I think I know. It's a knockoff of um, the Ultraman figures. Obviously, the Japanese Ultraman figures. So I'm going to keep this guy. He's going to go up there on my shelf with. The rest of my keiju, 10p, probably the deal of the day. Right, getting towards the end of the bits and pieces now. I uh, found a Donkey Kong Land uh, Game Boy Color. Is it Game Boy Color? No, it's just Game Boy Game Boy. It's a yellow cartridge. Pound, I paid for that. Then there was one stall that was selling um, loads of toys. They had buckets of toys, nothing super great. There was a few WWF Hasbro's, but they were bashed up. I see, then I see a stay puffed in the distance, a Marshmallow Man. Someone picked it up. Geezer picked it up. Paid two quid. Didn't think nothing of it for. Never mind. Walking further down, I see the stay puffed on a stall. So the guy was selling it. I went to him. Oh, I said, you picked that to me earlier. How much you want? Oh, I want a fiver. Which in, is a good price anyway for a stay puffed Marshmallow Man. So I said, oh, look, I'll give you four quid. I know you paid two quid for it. You make two quid on it. He said, yeah, no problem. Now, it is beating up quite a bit. It needs a good clean and a good clean to get the marks out. But an original Ghostbusters Marshmallow Man and Rob at uh, Robbo Toys said he wants it because he wants to try and do a clean up job on it. So you can have it, mate. Right, we're getting towards the end. This uh, There was one girl selling loads of like Funkos and that. And she had all odds and sods, bits and pieces, like superhero stuff. And uh, I picked up this cool Predator bottle opener. One pound. Now, this is uh, this has only just come out this year. This is a Loot Crate exclusive. If you don't know what Loot Crate is, it's just like a, a, a geeky subscription, a monthly subscription where they send you loads of random stuff um, relating to superhero, sci-fi and all that. So this, there's a couple more bits here. Um, this is also a Loot Crate exclusive. So this is a Logan Wolverine metal die cast figure. I had one. Of, I had a Deadpool one of these last week that I sold. The other week that I sold at a show. I paid a pound for the um, Predator. I paid four quid for that. I know they go for more than that, so I didn't mind paying four quid for that. And then I've got this talking. Um, Rocket Raccoon from Guardians of the Galaxy. I'm Rocket Raccoon. I'm the brains and he's the muscle. We're the Guardians of the Galaxy. Pretty cool. Um, it's a key ring, I think. Yeah, it's a key ring. Two quid. All brand new, brand new, brand new. So four, two, and one for the Predator key ring. So again, not bad prices. So yeah, getting towards the end. Found this. Wonder oh, Woman. Man. <laughs> she talks as well. So obviously these have just come out recently. I don't know how much these go for, but I paid two quid for it. And she works and she speaks pretty clear. Let's super speed this. Save the day alarm. Wonder Woman film's coming out. So yeah, two quid. Can't go wrong. Pretty much brand new. Nice and clean. 
again a lot of this is just for stock then picked up this now this is quite big so this is um, an indiana jones and the kingdom of the crystal skull play set i took a bit of a punt on this i haven't opened it yet i don't know whether it's complete or missing bits so i paid a fiver i don't think they go for too much i think they go for about 15 quid um but pretty cool piece right these are the last two items now one of them what happened was i had kind of walked around and the, the new car some new some new cars were coming in and the scalpers were just jumping on them so i thought let me have a little walk around and see if there's anything else anyway that's how i found these two items now one of them i don't know whether it's going to work or not i have no idea i don't even know how they work to be honest with you but i got an atari now it's got a game with it wizard of war is that how you pronounce it it's got an Atari joystick. It's a bit grubby and it hasn't got a power adapter. So I've took a risk here, a bit of a risk, but I thought it's got a game, it's got a control pad. If it don't work, it's not the end of the world. I paid £2 for that. I paid £2. So if it don't work, then who cares? It'll go. I don't normally pick up video games and con consoles and that, I'll be honest with you, but because all the scalpers, all the game people were all waiting for all the new people to come in. I'm thinking, did, did they miss this? Are Atari's not that popular? Um, do they not really, is there no money to be made in them? I don't know. I know there's a lot of retro gamers who watch my channel. So maybe you guys can enlighten me because I know about Master Systems, NES, Mega Drives, you know, Super Nintendo's, GameCubes and all that, but I don't know before that, I was, you know, I was born in 83, so I didn't have one of these, but, you know, if it works, or, where, you know, where can I buy a plug for it? I'll say it's got one controller, it is grubby, needs a good clean, but for two quid, surely the game's worth more than two quid, or is it? I don't know, like I said, 1981, yeah, Wizard of, guys, if any of you know out there, I'd appreciate your help. I will do a bit of eBay research, but once I've done this video, I've got to pop out for a few hours, so I'm going to be majorly busy until um, later on, but I'm going to try and get this uploaded within the next few hours. Right, the very last item. Now, I saved the best to last because the best to me, shall I say. Not the best fine, but the best to me. It wasn't a bad day, guys. It was not a bad day by any stretch of imagination compared to some days I've had, but Nothing will live up to the craziness of last week. Let's be fair, it was an awesome Sunday. But I did manage to pick this up. Now, I've seen these before on eBay and I know they go for about 15 quid. So the lady was sort of just sitting up and I was getting ready to go. I just wanted to go home. I, I had bundles of gear in the car, I had bundles of gear on me. It's like 22 degrees outside. And I see it and I thought, you know what? Let's just grab it. I said, how much you want? She said, three quid. So this is a, I think it was 2007. Um, I think Hasbro made these. This is like a 3D Venom mask. Now it's pretty good. Like, I mean, I can't wear it because it's for kids and I've got a big head, but obviously the, the detail in the tongue and the teeth, this is all solid. So yeah, that is pretty good. And I want to try and display it somehow with my Venom, well, if I add any space, I'll display it with my Venom stuff. Um, yeah, so a pretty okay day at the boot sale. Like I said, no, nothing was gonna live up to last week. Um, I did get a little bit of footage, but what happened was is I brought a memory card with me that had 12 minutes, 12 minutes on it. So when I pressed record, I was walking around, the 12 minutes were already done before I'd kind of got anything really good. So I'm not going to attach it to the video, but I will do. I will get some footage and I will get more organised with the next boot, next boot sales. So yeah, that, that's pretty much it, guys. So before I go, I want to say a big uh, shout out to my man Toy Snobs. Again, I mentioned him in the last video. So this is the other t-shirt. This is the Gremlins t-shirt, um, which is obviously based on Gremlins. But the main feature is actually the back of the t-shirt. So hopefully you can see it. I might get a, a, a screenshot of it. 
So it's pretty uh, pretty cool. So that's like a Gremlins water park. Because obviously Gremlins ain't allowed to get near water. So thanks to um, Toy Snobs for that. Guys, if you ain't subscribing, please consider to do so. I'd like to thank all the new subscribers because I've had quite a lot popping up recently. You can catch me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter under Pizarro's Pieces. Until the next video, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you then.